Urgent reforms to privacy laws will do more than increase financial penalties, Attorney General Mark Dreyfus has pledged. In the wake of the Optus data breach of almost 10 million customers, Dreyfus said changes to laws could be introduced to Parliament by the end of the year. Watch in the video above, Anthony Albanese says Optus should pay for the damaging data leak. Watch the latest news on Channel 7 or stream for free on 7 Plus it is certainly not just simply about increasing penalties, although that will be part of the reforms we are going to look at, he said in Canberra on Thursday. We need to make sure that companies who are keeping Australians' data pay absolute attention to keeping that data safe. We are looking at what urgent reforms can be made to the Privacy Act. The data breach has prompted nearly all states and territories to allow affected residents to apply for new driver's license numbers. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has demanded Optus pay for the cost of replacing passports for customers whose data was hacked, saying it was the telco's blunder. Companies need to be held to account here and that is something my government is determined to do, he told 5 uh, uh, Radio on Thursday. Foreign Minister Penny Wong wrote to Optus Chief Executive Kelly Bayer Rosemarin on Wednesday, saying there was no justification for affected customers or taxpayers to foot the bill. Dreyfus said he saw no reason why telcos needed to keep data used to validate identification, such as a driver's license or passport, for a decade. Obviously, the more data that's kept the bigger the problem there is about keeping it safe, the bigger the problem there is about the potential damage that's going to be done by a huge hack that's occurred here, he said. The Attorney General said the public needed assurance that data taken by a company or government was used for its intended purpose and disposed of safely. For too long we have had companies solely looking at data as an asset they can use commercially, he said we need to have them appreciate very very firmly that Australians' personal information belongs to Australians. It's not to be misused. It absolutely has to be protected. The opposition called for the government to cover the costs of replacing passports, but Liberal Senator Linda Reynolds later conceded Optus should pay. Reynolds criticized Labor's response to supporting people hurt by the breach. The government's making people pay for, passports, themselves. Optus should be paying or at least the government, she said. People with their Medicare numbers, leaked. What protections are the government putting in place? Parliament returns for budget week on October 25th, with three subsequent sitting weeks scheduled before the end of the year. Optus to pay for license replacements Australians caught up in a massive breach will be able to change their driver's license numbers and get new cards, with the telco expected to bear the multi-million dollar cost of changeover. The NSW, Victorian, Queensland and South Australia governments on Tuesday evening began clearing the bureaucratic hurdles for anyone who can prove they are victims of the hack, which has affected millions of people. People are understandably stressed and need a pathway forward, NSW Customer Service Minister Victor Dominello said on Twitter. NSW will charge a $29 replacement fee, which it said will be reimbursed by Optus. Victorians will also get free license number replacements and the chance to flag their license record in case of future fraud. We will request Optus repays the cost of the new licenses to the Victorian government, the state's transport department said. Similar arrangements are being made in other states and territories and the cost to Optus could run into the tens of millions of dollars. Anyone applying for a replacement driver's license number and card must be able to show they have been advised by Optus that they are at risk. Here's how each of the state governments have responded to the Optus breach and service NSW and ID support NSW are working with transport for NSW on driver's license relief affected Optus customers will soon be able to apply for a replacement number online through service NSW or one at its offices the replacement fee of $29 will be reimbursed by Optus Victoria Department of Transport is working with IPCARE to get a full list of Victorian licenses exposed by the breach anyone at risk can get their VicRoads record flagged against any potential future fraud and request a number and card replacement the government will ask Optus to repay the cost Queensland replacement driver license numbers and cards will be offered free of charge to impacted Optus customers South Australian license numbers can be changed at a service SA Center replacement fee of $20 will be waived anyone who has already paid for a replacement license can get a refund through service Oct government is still working through the issue of replacing driver license numbers and cards others as of 8 p.m. s Tuesday 
Western Australia, Northern Territory and Tasmania were still to advise on their plans but are expected to follow the other jurisdictions. Optus CEO's shock admission in cyber attack aftermath, be vigilant.